guys, so I went shopping, well I went to JCPenney with my mom, and I'm about to hook up to fluids, I didn't really do, I did 250 milliliters yesterday, which is basically nothing, so I'm going to finish the bag tonight, um, so, um, I'm going to spend, um, I think the next few days trying to get rid of a lot of clothing and get rid of a lot of stuff, so, if and when I move out, um, I have less stuff, and, um, I just want my clothing to be a little bit more accessible because I have a lot and I don't wear most of it, um, so I want to be able to kind of, uh, solidify, like, the clothing I have. Um, I'm also over this weekend and possibly into next week I'm going to be revamping my channel a little bit um, I'm still doing the same thing I'm not changing that whatsoever but I want to change the like the the reason that I started vlogging the reason I continue to vlog has kind of changed and I don't want my vlog to like I I find it very important very 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 important I'm gonna keep this as a chronic illness vlog channel um, that is my focus. I want that to be my focus, but I want to focus um, the energy I have and the things that I, you know, the time that I'm awake and conscious and okay, um, okay being relative, but um, I want to be able to be spending my energy in a, a more effective way because I'm, I'm going to be sick no matter what. That's just how it is. I'm going to be sick. Um, I'm going to feel like crap every single day um but feeling worse and doing something i think is better than um you know being still not good and not doing anything i don't know um so yeah i just i really want to um i don't want to make my my channel more professional but i want to clean it up a little bit um, but I'm doing everything the same. I just want the general focus of my channel to be more of a journey, um, to hope and happiness than just my life with a chronic illness. I want to be moving forward with this stuff and I want to find peace within all of this and I want to find happiness. And, um, I think it's really important to revamp my channel because I think it's really important to be conveying this a little bit more effectively than it is now. And, um, yeah, I just, I find it very, very important to make some necessary changes, and the channel is going to be the exact same, it's just going to look a, a bit cleaner, and I want my focus to be on happiness and health and not just health. So, I'm going to bring you guys with, um, with me on my journey, and I just want my channel to reflect that, so it's a long explanation for something I've been thinking about for a while, but um, spoke to friends and came up with a very, very good idea for it. So I just wanted to let you guys know, and I am about to hook up to fluids. So I was feeling very dizzy earlier, so I'm hoping, it's also hot out, so I'm hoping that the fluids will help. And yeah, I'm going to be trying to um, get rid of a lot of clothing. So we'll see how this goes. First, though, before I do anything, um, I do have to call my home health company. Um, my Sharps uh, container thing is filled. So I know that um, USPS um, actually takes it back for free and they dispose of it um, correctly. So I'm going to have to mail that, this out and receive a new one from my home health company. I am going to be short on fluids this weekend, so I need one more bag, and I only have three flushes left, so I'm going to have to call about that, too. It's all shipment related. I gotta get this done. Um. So, I totally forgot. The only thing that's bad about these pants is that they pick up... Oh my gosh, why is... <gasps> Oh my gosh, so my room has to be super dusty. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh my gosh. Oh, ew. Ugh, I'm sorry, guys. Um, I, I got these a while ago, like when I quit um, at Bath and Body Works. Because um, these are from 
either Pink or Victoria's Secret. They're like, uh, kind of like, um, like joggers, I guess. Anyway, so I picked those up, uh, I think when I quit, because for those of you that don't know, I used to be a manager at Bath and Body Works. Um, I quit basically, I think very soon after I started vlogging, I quit. Um, my health was too overwhelming and my coworkers um, were horrendous. My boss was horrendous. Um, I should have maybe stood up for myself a little bit more, but uh, it was like um, health related that they were kind of ridiculous. But anyway, um, so if you guys also don't know, Bath and Body Works is in the same company as Henry Mandel and Victoria's Secret and Pink. So the um, custo or the employee discount I got at Bath and Body Works, I also got a Victoria's Secret and Pink. So I bought a lot of clothes from Victoria's Secret and Pink. These pants are from Victoria's Secret and Pink. Or pink. I think these are Victoria's Secret, though. I can't remember. So I have this huge collection of leggings that I started getting, like, when I started getting sick, I guess I stopped using jeans and started using stretchier pants because my first diagnosis was um, digestive. I got diagnosed with a rare form of colitis, and that was my first diagnosis. Um, so... Being that that was like bowel related, I tried to keep, um, you know, tried to wear stuff that was soft. I stopped wearing jeans completely. Um, I didn't have a huge collection of leggings. I kind of started when I came home and especially after I started working at Victoria's Secret. I not at Victoria's Secret when I was able to get stuff from Victoria's Secret because I was working at Bath and Body Works for a year and a half. Um, so I've kind of accumulated a lot of like nice like lounge pants or leggings. Um, so I bought two more pairs today, but I'm going through my clothes, and I totally forgot that I even had these, and it's so cute because it has this, like, mesh thing on the side. I forgot that I had these. Oops, I almost out of my line. Um, so yeah, there's your long-winded explanation of why I'm so happy I found these. So I'm literally the last person to care about really like how I how I look more or less how I look or how I dress because I just wear like lazy clothes because and you know I have friends that literally that have um EDS that literally like do not wear clothes like unless they have to be around people they don't wear clothes because um it's like the the tighter things are the more uncomfortable that's why I don't wear normal bras I only wear sports bras um but but I just made the most adorable accidental outfit and I wanted to show you guys I'm wearing the joggers I was telling you guys about earlier and I'm wearing this um like just pink and white striped shirt but yeah super cute outfit it looks cuter in person this is like a crop shop and this comes up high super cute and super functional yeah so a shipment box i don't know if i told you guys that they were even sending it today um they gave me okay so this box has 30 saline flushes i can't even pick this up this is i can't even believe how much they sent me and then this is, I think they said they sent me 70. Mm -hmm. So that's 30. This has to be another gazillion. Yeah, that's a lot. And then they sent me my saline bags. Let me get the bags out and then I'll show you everything else. Okay, so I have the Steri strips, the little swab caps. I have two extension sets. I have two white tips. I have my 10 bags. There might be an 11th that was just kind of laying out there. I then got 50 gazillion IV 3000 um, dressings or yeah dressings but I can't use these anyway so if anybody watching this wants IV supplies let me know. And hold on. I got my 
new sharps container and 50 other things. A bunch of tubing and dressing change kits that actually work. And these that I always complain about because I never use them. And that's it. So I don't know how well you guys can see me. Also, I the vlog is uploading now. So sorry it's being uploaded at almost 11 p.m. my time. But my parents got me chocolate from Canada from their vacation. So I'm going to taste test it for you guys says fine milk chocolate so I'm kind of excited okay well this is supposed to be a piece that definitely tastes different than regular milk chocolate wow Guys, if you're ever in Canada, it's actually really good. It definitely tastes more, um, hmm. I don't even know how to explain it. This is really good. Like normal, like Hershey's or whatever, is very like, like it's just very sweet and very chocolatey. And this is more of like a muted taste, but not in a bad way, in a good way. So guys, if ever in Canada. There's a very long story that goes with this, um, but uh, years ago, four years ago, um, I lost my one of my best friends to cancer, um, and I was kind of like very present in the funeral arrangements and I was with him after he passed away and like it, it's very there's a lot of backstory to that but um I had been religious up until that point and I guess seeing somebody die um for like you know in front of you in a way um you know it kind of shattered my religious beliefs um so I have this Bible my parents gave me years ago, um, like probably six years ago, and I'm now wanting to kind of go back in and start getting myself on a, more of a religious track, um, and I guess that's part of like the journey into happiness and health is that um, I like I want to be able to to access that and maybe see it as a, a sign of hope but, but anyway so I'm going to read a quote it's not out of the Bible it's a quote from um and like an annotated bio Bible pretty much now if you're not religious at all um I still think that this quote is very applicable to anybody um because I feel like those of us who are chronically ill seem like we are not worthy of love or not worthy of, you know, the time and caring of other people and all this stuff. So, um, with this quote, uh, if you're not religious, don't just ignore the fact that I'm saying it came from an annotated Bible, but I, I mean this to every single one of you, we are not broken, we're not alone, and this isn't our fault, so... <sighs> Here's a quote. Okay, so the page that I open to, um, it's this thing. It says, um, Jesus does not heal everyone on the earth or even in his homeland, but his treatment of the sick and the needy shows that they are especially loved, not cursed by God. His healings also provide a sign of what will happen in the future, a time when all diseases and even death will be destroyed. So even... If you guys do not believe, you know, you don't have religious beliefs or whatever, like, just because we're sick doesn't mean we're broken. 
um, doesn't mean that we're unworthy of love. Um, but what blew my mind is this book is literally 1,500 pages, and that's what the book opened to. So, on that note, I'm going to start some of my secret revamping to my channel. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Thank you.